Hello, today we are going some of the other methods that we are using in executor service. So basically we discuss about the submit method. So in submit we can uh, have runnable or callable, uh, yeah, callable uh, interface implemented classes. So we already yeah, discuss about that and in callable uh, how we will get the result and how we will uh, how we will make sure uh, it's a callable results we are getting in, in a particular amount of time if this that time out is so clear, it will go to the next one so uh, in that way we already discussed some of the things but right now i am discussing about the main thing uh, we need to shut down our executor service so after creating and we are submitting a, a runnable or callable interface implemented classes uh, we need to shut down our executor service so in shutdown we have two methods one is shutdown and one is shutdown now so if i right here this is shutdown method and we have shutdown now method so what is the difference between shutdown and shut shutdown now so in shutdown it will stop accepting new new task it will not accept new task wait for previously uh, some submitted task to execute and terminate the execute so uh, we will call it as a Is shutdown probably so shutdown now this method interrupt the uh, interrupt the running task and shut down the executor service so it will sh it will uh, stop all the uh, running task also so we can see that in our previous example so in previous example we have something like this right so I am trying to make yeah I am trying to make into a long one uh, with a thread sleeve and uh, 5 seconds it's going to this one is fine so probably we don't need this one I am going to shut down right yeah so I need to shut down my executor service. That's my requirement right now. So initially I'm using the the uh, shutdown that will show accepting new task and later i will uh, i will show shutdown now so right now we can just let's see how it's going to happen So it's job here. It's job here and right now it's running. I mean the process is not exit exit right now. So basically it's working right now. So right now what I'm going to do is I am stopping here process finish exit code exit code minus one 
and I will change this one into now. Okay, what I'm going to do is I need to show this one. So probably I will add all of my code into Git repo or somewhere. So here, yeah, here we can see that process finished with exit code zero 01 so it's automatically finished it's not going to wait for that thread to complete so uh, I guess if uh, everyone uh, yeah, understand the difference between shutdown and shutdown now right now so that's about the two methods that we need to know there are some other methods also, await, termination or something. So let's see what I will discuss right now. Maybe there is any example for that. Await. Have a termination. It's a good service. Okay, here, um, here are some of the methods here. So I will uh, let's see how I can do that. Okay, I guess in next tutorial or something, I will discuss about that because I need to go through that before I'm going to present. So right now what I'm going to do is only seven minutes, right? So we have some time. So probably in next video, I will discuss more about uh, Execute a service example with multiple threads and tasks. So that will be our next topic. So right now for this video, this was a short video. We already discussed about shutdown and shutdown now. So it's not that much. Uh, and if I am going to execute a service, let's see if there is anything I need to I need to uh, Yeah, this one we can Okay, this was the method that I talked about early So this one await termination so in I guess there will be some examples online. Let me check. Okay, so there is an example for this one, but I don't know whether it's that much. Okay, I have an executor service and wait termination. So whenever all threads are terminated, then we are going for shutdown. Let's see whether it will make any sense. No, it will not make any sense. So wait only in nanoseconds, right? So what I am going to do is it would change into seconds so okay 
here we can see the difference so I am just using shutdown now it will shut down automatically and if I am using a wait termination it will wait for that particular amount of time so here it will not make any sense since I am giving a long time right 10,000 seconds so I know if I am going through this again yeah it's just a 10 seconds it's just a one second waiting so if I am okay so that's it so if you are using shutdown now shutdown it will wait for complete the uh, termination but if you are using shutdown now it will not wait for termination so if you are using a wait termination in the seconds or something that will overcome this problem I mean the problem with the shutdown now so that's about that's all about this video